Bust out the shorts, get the jandals, summer's here. And we got a Christmas tree. Has nothing on it yet, but decorations will come. Sup everyone, been two weeks since I've seen you last, and in that time, New Zealand has experienced the best weather of all time. Glare, I can't, this is the this is the thing with summer. You can't see anything at the moment. You need sunglasses inside. I've got the curtain shut. It's the middle of the day. Getting into the Christmas spirit with an absolutely giant, enormous Christmas tree. That sucker goes right to the roof. And when you're six foot six, you need big trees. Haven't put any decorations on it yet. Just wanted to show you what it looks like now. I will be taking photos of this, of course. And in the meantime as well, in the Christmas spirit, we have to give major shout outs to the biggest snow globe that I received and... Oh, you need some biceps for this one! So if this is a normal snow globe, check out this. So, this is the best present a boy could ask for an amazing high quality Santa snow globe thanks to Gab for this it is centerpiece of my collection and it has a white out of snow that is just so good so this is not even counting the four snow globes that I have at work thanks to my colleagues so I'm slowly collecting the whole world. So we're talking uh, photography, which I have been doing, and the goal was buildings, to take photos of buildings and architecture, and just from the exterior. I found this assignment way harder than I thought I would, and of all the assignments I've done, it's the one that I am not the most happy with, and I want to come back and work on it. But first I'm going to roll some photos. I think one of the things that I've learnt about taking photos of buildings is getting your lines straight is, is quite hard and I think I'll always like look at a photo that I've taken and be like it's not quite straight and then if you try and like rotate it in Lightroom something else goes on the wonk so maybe you've got to take a tripod to take real good photos of buildings but it brings me to my point which is that I'm starting to get a little bit fussy as a photographer. So if you plotted when you go from amateur photographer to less amateur photographer and as a photographer, you know how you know how most photographers are quite particular about their photos? Well, I've experienced the first taste of it where you start to be a critic of your own stuff and it had surprising results. You take a photo you take lots of photos and then you just get home and you're not that happy with them. So I sort of let the photos sit in the computer for two weeks. Umming and ahhing, I thought maybe I've got to go out and take more photos of every building in Auckland until I'm happy with it. And then I just remembered, hang on, what are you doing Chris? Just calm down. You're the guy who didn't even know what a lens was before. So your, buildings aren't gonna, your building photos aren't going to light the world on fire, so just chill out. And I chilled out, and that's why we're back making a video. It seems like I was sort of stuck because you're like, there's a tower. There's a building. And then there'll always be a lamppost 
or a cone or a person or the light's wrong. Listen to my excuses. So while we've been cooking in this summer heat, it's no exaggeration, it has been two weeks of just constant weather that is good. And in Auckland, it always rains or suns or does changes every day. So I've just become such a chiller in this good weather. You just wake up, there's no clouds in the sky, and you're like, oh, do I have to make a video today? Or do I just chill? And then you wake up the next day and it's the same and it's the same and, and you're just, just so relaxed. It just feels like being on holiday. So yeah, I am going to up the frequency of videos again. Some of the other ones just felt a bit and I was trying to wake up at the time, you know, the, there's a thing called golden hour apparently, which is an hour before sunset and an hour after sunset and apparently it's when the light makes everything look good. So I was trying to do that to wake up in golden hour and go to the city and take photos. I woke up at 6.30 and it was already like um, really glary. And I don't really want to go lingering around the city at 10 at night when the sun sets it's because it's, it's not what I do. So I got kind of st stuck in limbo land and ended up just really hot walking around town with a camera bag. Um, interesting though when you take your camera, big DSLR, that is one thing. I am self-conscious of the DSLR. I went and took it down Queen Street which is the main street in Auckland. Had so many people commenting on my camera, asking me what I was doing, telling me where to take photos. One lady pointed me in the direction of the supermarket and said that that would be a good shot. I disagreed and kept walking. Friendly bunch New Zealanders. Love giving you an opinion. I'm just trying to learn photography here guys. Uh, just just back off. I'm actually a you know, semi-professional semi YouTuber. So. From here, I think it's good that I got this video out so that we can move on to the next video Which I haven't looked at on the assignment list, but I just needed to break the little funk of being an inner critic get something up and Yeah, thanks to all the subscribers that have been trickling in nearly at to 200 Which is awesome and yeah, thanks for I always I love the notifications that I get the little emails save every one of them Thanks. If you like any of the photos, let me know. Any encouragement, cr don't critique me. I'm already critiquing myself. So that's, don't do that. Encouragement, suggestions on what you want to see. Got a great trip planned for the end of the year where, where we will have the most amazing photos. So stay tuned. Boys is out. Merry Christmas. Let's go and decorate the world's biggest Christmas tree.